Hello girls. In our last two lessons in EVS, we have learned about water. Today, we are going to learn some more properties of water. In our new lesson, more about water. Are you ready to learn about it? And today, the whole lesson, I am going to show you the experiment. So, you are going to watch it carefully. Are you ready? Come, let's do it. So children, are you ready for our first experiment? Now for this, all you need is water, a rose and a chiku. Now children, this glass of water, what color is the water? Is there any color? No. Now, I'm going to take this rose, a pretty rose. Now I'm going to smell it. Now when you smell a rose, do you like the fragrance of the rose? Yes. A chiku. Now I'm going to eat this. Mmm, it's very sweet. Now children, the same thing I'm going to do with water. First, I'm going to smell the water. Water has no smell. Now, I'm going to drink the water. Water has no taste. So, from this children, we understand that the pure water has no color, no smell and no this. Children, from the experiment we understood that pure water has no color, taste and smell. Now children, let's do a second experiment. For our second experiment, you need a candle, a glass, a bowl, and a glass full of water as we are learning about water, isn't it? What are we going to do is we will light this candle and stand it on the table. Look at it through a board. Children, can you see the candle? No. Now, let us take a glass. Can you see the candle now? Yes. Now children, what do you understand by this? When you look at the flame of the candle through a board, can you see it? No, it means it is opaque. But when you see a flame of the candle through a glass, can you see it? Yes, it means it is transparent. Now children, let's take a glass of water and we are going to place a candle. Now children, can you see the candle? Now children, what do you understand by this? The candle can be seen through the water in the glass as well. It means water too is transparent. So children, from the experiment, we have learned two new words today. Opaque and transparent. O P A Q U E is opaque. T R A N S P A R E N T transparent. And from the experiment we have learned that water is transparent. 
So, we have learned four properties of water. Water has no color, no smell, no taste and water is transparent. Alright children, are you ready for a thought experiment? Now this is all what you need. Water, two glasses, two dishes, flour, a wheat flour. Now just pay attention what I am doing and you are going to tell me. I am taking a flour and putting it in the plate. Now I'll take some water, I'll pour it in the plate. Alright, now the same thing children, I'm going to do it with the glasses too. I'm going to put some flour in the glass. And a water in the glass. Now children, can you see a small heap of a flour is formed in a dish. A heap of a flour is formed in the glass as well. The water takes the shapes of the plate and the glass. Can you see a heap of a water? No, it has taken the shape of the dish and the glass. Now from this children, what do you understand? Water does not have shape of its own. That is why it spreads when it spills on the flow. So children, from the experiment we have learned water, it takes the shape of its container. It spreads on a flat surface. It flows down a slope. Alright children, I hope you have understood the experiments that I have conducted. We shall continue with the next topic in the next lesson. Till then, take care. Bye.